Bienvenido a Vlad Slicks. Cinco de Mayo is right around the corner. That's why today we will make three incredible cocktails that will make you a bartender of the year at any party. Let's go. Okay, first let's make a Mexican breakfast. I'll use one of my favorite superfoods that I eat every day. Avocado was originated in South Central Mexico almost 10,000 years ago and for a long time has been a part of the Mexican diet. The heaviest recorded avocado in the world weighed almost five pounds. We don't need that much. I cut a regular size avocado and put about a quarter inside a shaker. Then squeeze fresh Mexican lime, for the sweetness add agave nectar and of course tequila. There are two main categories of tequila, blended mixto made from a minimum of 51% blue agave sugars and 100% blue agave tequilas, which is made from pure agave. It's perfect to be consumed straight up or on the rocks, while mixed Mixta contains up to 49 non-agave ingredients such as sugarcane or other distillable products, flavorings and colorings. Mixta was supposed to be used in mixed drinks, however I would always choose 100% blue agave tequila for my cocktails since it tasted so much better than Mixta. Before shaking this cocktail, make a rim using Mexican seasoning Taijin. Taijin is a unique chili lime seasoning blend made with mild chili peppers, lime and sea salt, which in Mexican locals love to spray sprinkle over fresh fruits and vegetables. Use lime to rim glass and dip into seasoning. Then shake it hard with ice for about 30 seconds because we have an avocado inside. Put a large piece of ice and strain your cocktail. Garnish with crystallized ginger. Oh, and this Mexican breakfast can be consumed at any time of the day. Next, let's make a twist on Mexican Mule. I will be serving this drink in the Cantarita clay mug, which is also called Jarita de Barro. It's an authentic Mexican clay jug that is perfect for Michelada, Cantarita and many other mixed drinks or cocktails. Very simple to make. Fill it up with ice, pour your favorite tequila and fresh lime juice. An important ingredient here is hibiscus ginger beer, in which added bright pink hibiscus flowers and tart rose hips. It's made with organic agave, real ginger and absolutely great ingredient for your spring and summer cocktails. We can add around 2 ounces and also like in classic Paloma add 2 ounces of grapefruit soda. I garnish it with dehydrated lime but feel free to use fresh lime if you like. And cheers! I mean, salute! <laughs> now let's make a purple margarita. For this drink I will prepare a special colored ice using the purple cabbage. The purple cabbage has a water-based pigment which reacts by changing the color in an acidic environment. And it will work out perfectly since we have the lime juice in our margarita. Cut it and place it into a bowl or any pot. Add boiling water and leave it for 5 minutes. Strain with deep blue water and let it cool off. Next step, pour it into the ice tray and freeze it for 3 to 4 hours. The beautiful ice cubes are tasteless but will bring really pretty colors to our drink. In the shaker add Blanco tequila, fresh lime juice. Instead of orange liquor, I will use Ancho Reyes. It's a chili liquor produced in Puebla City, Mexico. Based on a 1927 recipe, it's a spicy, smoky and sweet liquor with a complex flavor. Half ounce of sugar syrup will be a good touch. And for garnish I use hibiscus salt to make a rim. Easy to make it. It's a blend of dry grounded hibiscus flour and salt. It might remind you of the taste of cranberry or pomegranate. If you want to make it at home, just take a dried hibiscus flowers and grind it in your coffee grinder. Then strain it using a fine strainer and mix it with sea salt. When the salt rim is ready, add ice in your shaker and... Take your favorite glass, add purple ice and strain your cocktail. You can see that the cocktail is slowly changing color and becoming purple. You can try and experiment with other cocktails using this purple ice. Now is always the best time to say thank you to all the legends who supported this channel on Patreon. Happy Cinco de Mayo to all of you and I'll see you in the next video.